Oh, welcome back to your uh, crash course number four. This is uh, Sammy Chimonahihi Alayubi from the Eagle One Development Team. And uh, we're going to continue along uh, with what we've worked on and add a little bit, <clears throat> add a little bit more to this and uh, try to uh, create a few more sh complex shapes to, to make these couple of rooms that we've added uh, a little bit more interesting. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this room and uh, we're going to uh, start off uh, by actually uh, trying to create an arch right here. And uh, so here's how we're going to do that. Okay, I'm going to delete this face, uh, select this edge, press Y, and uh, this arch tool, well, this is such a fun arch tool, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create an arc height of, uh, we'll go 64 right now, this is good. Press Enter. And uh, <clears throat> now the other thing I want to go ahead and do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to fill in this hole right here. I'm going to go ahead and double click one of the edges. And uh, this is a temporary thing. We'll come back to this because this is definitely creating an end gone. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press P and I'm going to fill this hole in for right now. Uh, I'm going to now select this face. Look at this archway that I've created. I'm going to press Delete. And we'll also, like I said, come back to this in a second and make sure that this is taken care of. But what I've created now is a frame. Okay? Double click the edges. And this frame of my archway, I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to extrude it out a little bit. So let's see what this does. Okay, Right away, okay, I've given myself now an arch uh, that's on the inside and we have this filled in. Okay, one thing though that we need to make sure we do is this is a crazy amount of end gons, uh, 21 edges. Okay, if you're ever not sure how many it is, just double click on it. Uh, and, and I'm going to actually just select these vertices and I'm just going to go ahead and, and I'm going to make sure that this is nice and even. Uh, with uh, quads, uh, if possible, tries is fine. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press Control H. I'm going to just isolate this. Uh, we don't want to have end gone, so uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of editing. Uh, and we can see here that this also has some extra vertices. So I'm going to make this its own separate object, Alt N. I don't, um, and I can actually uh, delete these. Uh, I don't know if I really need these vertices. And then let's just go ahead and let's start connecting these. Okay, so I'm just selecting two vertices and I'm pressing V. And V is simply now giving us a much cleaner frame that's going to work with us. Okay, now I, I could have absolutely just kept this no problem, uh, but as we continue to move on, if you wanted to do any sort of manipulation, things are going to get weird. Uh, when you start adding uh, materials, uh, certain materials are going to start to look weird. Artifacts are going to look weird. So just quickly press U, and now I have here uh, something that's nice and even. Um, and uh, I, I didn't even really have to separate this. You know, I, I honestly could have kept this as a part of this. Uh, but for right now, uh, we are going to have this separated. This right here... Okay, since this is also going to be essentially its own hall okay, for just good workflow, I'm going to Alt N, I'm going to separate this as well. So that way uh, we have this back now uh, to, to, to being its own cube map because we're going to build a cube map in here eventually. And we want to make sure, like I said, each room is its own separate mesh. All right, so <clears throat> let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, add a little bit of spice to this. Double click the edges. Okay, so I have this frame selected. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to press F2. I'm going to get to this top down view. And uh, here's what I want to do. I'm going to I'm gonna change the pivot point over here, pivot manipulation. And I'm going to drag my pivot point. I'm going to drag it down. Let's go. Well, let's see, since this is nice and even. Uh, notice that if I have it on 16, look at the advantage of building this on the grid. If I'm building everything on the grid, I can take a look at these rooms and I can easily determine how much and where it should rotate. Um, so I'm going to actually go right here. Uh, if I do this correctly, okay, I should have uh, a nice room that is going to connect to this portion in a little bit. So press R, hold shift. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to keep my angle at 15 degrees right here just for now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag it out a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to press shift G. It's going to repeat the same action over and over. And uh, eventually I'm going to have what I'm looking for. Press T. Hold down shift. I'm just going to extrude this out so that way it's nice and even. And uh, now if I take a look at what's happened in my 3D view, I can see a nice little half a donut. And that was done by going through this process. I'm just going undo and redo so that way you can see exactly what we've just done. All right. So let's take a look here. This is now 
a tunnel, a nice arch tunnel. I've got my quads set up correctly. I have made sure my frame here was built correctly as well. And uh, by creating a separate mesh, we now have something prepared for when we eventually do want to add a cube map. All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, we'll see you for crash course number five.